Dodgers three, Giants nothing, seventh inning. Another payoff pitch from Clayton Kershaw. Seven shutout innings tonight for Kershaw. Hey everyone and welcome to The Dish. Thanks for joining us either on Dodgers Facebook or YouTube or Dodgers social media channels. We're joined here by now eight-time All-Star Clayton Kershaw. And congratulations on uh, another All-Star nod for you. But before we get to that, I want to talk about a pretty cool event coming up. Uh, I know you and your wife Ellen are really excited about it. All your teammates have, have come out and it's become a pretty cool uh, thing here. It's a seventh annual Ping Pong for Purpose event put on by Kershaw's Challenge. For those who haven't uh, attended or might be interested in what it is, first, what is the event? What can you kind of expect from it? And where can people go if they're interested in uh, being involved? Uh, yeah, so we do two events every year. And uh, during the baseball season, we do our Ping Pong event. And Ellen and I really just wanted to do a charity event in LA to because um, it's our second home. And obviously with the Dodgers and you know some of our beneficiaries with the Dream Center and other things are uh, centered out here in LA and so we wanted to do something here and so we decided on a ping pong event and it's been great we get celebrities to come out and we get the team to come out and then they kind of pair up with different sponsors and things like that and have a little ping pong tournament on the field. The rest of our Kershaw's Challenge team all the people here tonight um, it's, it's an incredible event every year and we're uh, I'm just proud to be a part of it I'm proud to be here and uh, just seeing all the hard work that you guys have put in. So thank you very much. It's, it's a big event at Dodger Stadium. It seems to get kind of bigger every year. You mentioned the celebrities. You've had you know, Brian Cranston now, Matthew McConaughey, some big names, but it also does a lot for, the, the, for raising funds, for your fundraiser, for what you've done, not just locally, but around the world and, and, and helping kids and charities as well. Specifically with this event, what does it do to, to help you guys out? Yeah, so every year we have different beneficiaries and this year is no different. So we still have uh, the Dream Center is one of our beneficiaries here in LA and they've been they've been with us now for four or five years and they've been great. We're able to build a playground right there on their main campus. I mean, you can see it right there on the 101 right there. And they got a lot of kids with uh, in there with their different parents going through different parts of their programs and things. And as well as Just Keep Living, it's Matthew McConaughey's uh, foundation and we, we partner with them this year as well. As, and then uh, over in the Dominican Republic, that's kind of our, our international one that we support here with the ping pong event. It's called uh, IJM, International Justice Mission. I got to go over there this year with the, in the Dominican Republic and um, it just fights trafficking. And so uh, those are kind of the main three this year as well as some others, but it's, uh, it's growing every year, like you said, and it's, uh, it, it's really cool. Speaking of uh, kids who are near and dear to your heart, we've talked a lot and seen a lot from, from Charlie and, and, and Callie this year. First of all, how old are they now? Yeah, four and a half and two and a half. So we've seen yeah. them out on the field and, and you interacting. Would you say this is the first year that they both like really understand what their dad does? I think they understand that going to the field is fun, you know? So Callie, she just loves being out on the field just because it's kind of like a center of attention thing, you know? And between fireworks or running the bases, she can kind of have uh, the whole run of the place, which she loves. And then Charlie just loves baseball, period. So he, uh, he wants to pitch or hit or run the bases all the time. And um, so yeah, this year has been a lot of fun. Yeah, first year that they kind of both uh, um, enjoy coming to the field. It's now time for the words that are recited before each and every game here at Dodger Stadium. Please welcome back to the field, Callie and Charlie Kershaw. Take it away, kids. It's time for Georgia Baseball! What does that mean to you? I mean, does it, obviously you enjoy seeing that as their dad, but does it even make baseball more fun when you see this on a daily basis and get to come out and they're a part of it like they are? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think, you know, now that, you know, you're getting to the probably second half of your career and getting to have um, kiddos growing older and getting to play with you a little bit more and now, uh, you know, getting to go to an all-star game, for example, and. Um, you know, Charlie's never been to one, and uh, Callie got to go when she was little, and I think Charlie's gonna have a great time. But, I mean, listen to her, she's saying Let's go Jack! Let's go Jack! Let's go Jack! Speaking of, of All-Stars, we mentioned, again, congrats with uh, eight-time All-Star. Now, you're gonna be going with a lot of guys who, who haven't been there before. How happy were you for a guy like, like Max Muncy when he gets in, and do you think it'll be a cool experience? Do you remember your, your first one uh, to be around these guys who haven't really experienced this before. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I think uh, seeing it through their eyes for the first time is, is, is a lot of fun, you know, even Hunjin, you know, he's just uh, finally getting recognized for some of the success he's having and then really excited for Walker, you know, it should be fun to have him there and see what he's gonna do with that situation. <laughs> He'll be great. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, just everybody. And, you know, Max was so deserving. He, need, he deserved to be on it, you know, at the very beginning. But I told him, you know, just like I tell everybody, it doesn't matter how you make it. I've made it as an alternate, as a sub, as a, you know, 
player ballot commission it doesn't matter how you make it as long as you make it and uh you get to be there you've been around some pretty standout pitchers in your time here but you mentioned a few guys there who are all now all-star starting pitchers uh, is this about as good as you've remembered from top to bottom a rotation being in your time here? Yeah, I mean, no doubt. It's hard to compare, I think. But, um, you know, obviously what Walker and Hunjin have been doing this year. And even Kenta. Kenta's thrown the ball, you know, really, really well. Strip and Julio both have done a great job. And then Richie was pitching lights out before he got hurt. So, yeah, top to bottom. I mean, it's really, it's really been impressive. And I know you're not a guy who likes to talk a ton about your stats, but you've had the 12 quality starts here. And I think the biggest stat maybe is just the fact that pre-All-Star break, you've gone at least six innings every single time. Um, what does that mean to you? Just to, You've talked about kind of keeping guys uh, in the game and making sure you have a chance to win and getting your bullpen rested. What has that stat meant to you? Well, yeah, it's great. I mean, just to be healthy has been sure. awesome. You know, I think uh, last few years battling different stuff to just be able to go out there every fifth day and um, continue to pitch and pitch deeper into the games. You know, I think that just kind of sets up, um, it sets up your team well. You know, I think uh, your starters go deep into the games. It puts your bullpen guys in the right spots in the right situations, and that trickles down into the next game and the next game and the next game. So it's, it's important, and I believe in it, and, you know, our starters do a great job, and we take pride in that. Uh, we're gonna have a little fun here, so we're gonna get to some of your fan questions. Right. I know you submitted a few. If you want to just pick out a, a one or two, I'll All read right. it for you here. All right, I'll read this one. Oh, oh you got it? Sure, I'll read it All for right. you here. Uh, Neeks wants to know, how does this team feel different than 2017? I don't know. Everybody asks that question. How does it feel different? I mean, I, I don't. I don't know. Like, uh, I hope it doesn't feel too different. We made it to Game Seven of the World Series, so uh, you <laughs> know, it's good, uh, right? yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, we'll yeah. go rapid fire. Right. I'll get a couple right. more and get right. on out of here. Here we go. Uh, DJ, favorite Netflix show or show to binge? Okay, so we're uh, my wife and I are going through Blacklist right now. Okay. Really like Blacklist. Um, that's been great for us. You know, we, we watch Parks and Rec probably like six times now. We love Parks and Rec. And then Stranger Things just came out, so we're gonna, we haven't watched. Haven't started yet. We haven't started yet, but we, uh, we're Stranger Things people. You were kind of busy yesterday, so. Busy yesterday, maybe, uh, maybe <laughs> over the break, we'll okay. get it going. Jim Gooden wants to know, how and when did you develop the iconic leg kick? I was in high school, um, and I in between my junior and senior year, and um, I never really had like a formal pitching lesson per se. And uh, I met a guy named Skip, who's now the head coach at Oklahoma, and uh, he was the head coach at a junior college at the time, and told me something real simple: just your hands and your legs are on a string. So when your hands go up, your legs go up; hands go down, legs go down. I took it pretty literally, and uh, <laughs> that's kind of how I pitched ever since. Worked out okay. Yeah. Uh, last one here: Dave Schilling wants to know. Who has the best walk-up song? Please say Chris Taylor. I do love that one. <laughs> CT's is great because it gets stuck in your head. That's um, but yeah, CT's is great. Who else we got on the team that I like? Um, the Doogie one seems to be... Doogie's a fan guy. favorite. Sure. It's not my cup of tea, but it's <laughs> definitely a fan favorite. Oh, uh, what's the song JT comes out to? Uh, Right in on the oh, the Old Town Road. Old Town Road, I okay. like that one. That's a good one. I like that one, yeah. Um, well, we will get you on to Copperhead Road here. Thank you so much for uh, Clayton Kershaw for joining us here. And remember, uh, he has the Ping Pong for Purpose event August 8th, so you can find out more uh, at Kershaw's Challenge yeah, as Kershaw's well. Challenge. So um, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good luck to the second half, and uh, we'll see you guys next time on The Dish.